Hi everyone. Happy New Year to all of you. I'm very sure the start of the new year has been good for you. Aaj main aapke samne aaya hu bahut basic teen char baatein karne ke liye. The aim of this session of this discussion with you is to help you have a better or have a good happy new year 2023. Kya hain teen cheeze jo jinke bare mein main baat karna chahta hu. Number 1 what can you do in 2023? Number 2 what is your potential and how to realize that potential and number 3 what you must not do kya aapko nahi karna chahiye sabse pehle utha lete hain what you must not do because when we are clear about what not to do it becomes all the more easier for us to decide upon what to do now aisi kya cheeze hain jo aapko nahi karni chahiye i personally feel that in the excitement of new year in the excitement of taking a lot of resolutions of making the next year even better than the previous year we overburden ourselves with tasks that are humanly probably not possible for us bahut sare objectives tasks goals bana lete hain jo hame bhi pata hota hai ki hum nahi kar payenge we try to complete them we try to catch up to them but ek week baad do week baad probably ek mahine tak hum khinch pate hain after that we tend to give up on them और उसके साथ ही हमारा रेजोल्यूशन भी खत्म हो जाता है माई ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू अलाइन योर टास्क इन सच ओ वे दैट यू वर्क फॉर हैप्पीनेस रैदर देन वर्किंग ओनली फॉर सक्सेस तो अब अगर हमने समझ लिया है कि ओवर बर्डन अपने आप को नहीं करना है हाउ डू यू डिसाइड एंड वॉट टू डू इन इन द कमिंग न्यू ईयर और अपनी पोटेंशियल को कैसे रीच करें लेट मी जस्ट शेयर विद यू माई न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन जिससे कि आपको एक परस्पेक्टिव मिल पाए as to what can you do in the coming year maine personally socha hai that i will keep working on my physical and my mental fitness because this is the body that you come with in this world and this is the body that you go with isi body ke sath aap sare kaam karte hain you have all those feelings emotions uh apni mental ya apni uh, state ke sath jo bhi pleasures hain desires hain emotions hain sadness hai happiness hai everything is experienced through this body only then why not spend more time on the health of this body not only the physical health but also the mental health iske sath hi maine decide kiya hai that i will try and continue spending about 2 hours every day on keeping care taking care of my mental as well as physical health abhi bhi main try karta hu but i want to do it even more and i want to continue doing it usko rokna nahi chahta The second resolution I have is to live in the present, जो कि सबके लिए बहुत important है but all of us struggle with this one goal. We are so consumed in thinking about our past or our future that we forget about living in the present. It's good to plan for the future. There's nothing wrong with that. But once you've already planned it out, it's important to live in the present to enjoy the present. That is something that I've not yet achieved. I might not be able to achieve it. till i die but this is something that i want to work upon the third goal that i have or the resolution that i have is towards what i do because it gives me a sense of purpose and the goal is to be better at teaching and be better at studying for myself and for my students so that i can teach even better so teaching all my students and teaching myself in short this goal or this resolution gives me a sense of a uh, purpose a sense of belonging to this world a sense of importance and that's why it becomes relevant for me as well now coming to the potential part aap sochoge ki sir ye to bata diya what not to do and what to do but how do we ensure that we are able to achieve our potential in 2023 and not make the same mistakes that we probably made in 2022 bahut simple si main technique use karne ki koshish karta hu whenever i decide to do something or anything at all in my daily life i ask myself two questions whatever i'm doing is it good for me and am i desperate enough to want it or not kya main bahut ichha se isko chahta hu do i want to have it do i want to do it and if i want to do it is it good or is it bad for me automatically i always get the right answer now it is upon me to follow that answer or not 
but if you try and follow it you eventually might get into the habit of making the right and making the best decisions for yourself ek chhota sa example le lete hain let's say you have a habit of watching something on ott or television while you're having your lunch hame sabko pata hai it is not good for your mental health your physical health and you are probably wasting time and you're not even enjoying your meal but hum sab log hi karte hain including me now if you ask yourself these two questions before you open your television the next time while having lunch am i desperate enough to want it you are probably desperate because you want to do it it's an addiction that you've got into is it good for me or not no it's not good for you you know it three days per week at least try and overcome your desperation and not watch television while having your lunch slowly and steadily you might get into the habit of making better decisions and achieving your potential in a much easier and better way so jab bhi kisi dilemma mein phaso ask yourself these two questions automatically aapki potential dheere dheere ab bahar aane lagegi you will start realizing that you are able to achieve your potential much better now so this is it for happy new year i am very sure that this small video is going to make your day brighter and will make sure that you are going to have a better year as well you will will be able to plan your new year in a better manner and you will be able to implement the plans as well much better than pro- probably what you did in 2022 i'll see you very very soon thanks for watching happy new year once again